What's going on everybody? My name is Blue Laid and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. In today's Minecraft mod showcase, guys, we are going to be reviewing the bending block mod. Now, this is a really cool mod. Apparently, it acts as like a shop, like a display case shop for players. So, I'm assuming you can actually have this on a Forge server. Of course, it needs Forge to be able to be installed. So, I'm not too sure if this will actually work on a Bungie server or not, but I do know it will work on a Forge server. So, uh, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to be showing you guys all how to craft the vending blocks. And there's actually three different types of vending blocks. I'm going to be showing you guys what all three different types do as well as how to craft them so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get in to this mod showcase so to begin guys we have the first vending block which is the default vending block and it is right over here as you guys can see blue lead is selling two bricks for one golden nugget it's not that good of a deal but uh just take note of the display cases uh base plate right here at the bottom how it is made out of wood because we are going to be looking into that in just a moment so here's how you craft it so first of all you guys need five glass blocks one golden ingot one redstone dust, two blocks of your choice. Now, you can actually choose which blocks you want as the base plate. So, as you guys can see right down here, it is wooden. We can actually choose what block we want as the base plate. So, that's pretty cool. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take these materials here. Next, we're going to go over here and we're going to craft the vending block. So, we're going to put the glass as so the golden nugget in the middle, the redstone dust at the bottom, and the two blocks in the bottom left and right corner. Now, as you guys can see, we have the vending block right here. We're going to go ahead and take it, and we're just going to place it right over here on this slab, as you guys can see right here. So now we have our vending block. If we right-click on it, we can actually put whatever we want to sell and what we're accepting as um, currency. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to choose some random items here. We're just going to choose some jungle leaves for a cobweb. So right here, if we go ahead and we put the jungle leaves in the selling slot and the cobweb in the buying slot, it will say Blue Laid is selling jungle leaves for one cobweb. Now, I'm not sure exactly sure how the storage section works, but from my understanding, I believe you can put some backup blocks for the selling slot. So whenever someone actually buys what's in the selling slot, it will automatically get filled with whatever is in the storage slot. Okay, so next we have the advanced vending block, and it is the exact same way to craft it, except on the bottom, instead of redstone dust, we have a redstone repeater. So for this one, we're actually going to make a golden base plate. So we're going to go ahead and take our two golden ingots here, and we're going to take our glass, our another golden ingot, and our redstone repeater. We're going to head over here to the crafting table and put the glass in as so, like we did the last time. Put the golden ingot in the middle, two other golden ingots on the side, and the repeater on the bottom. Next, we have the advanced vending block. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and place it on this slab. So if we right click on the advanced vending block, as you guys can see, something is a little bit different compared to the normal vending block. We actually have a select button. Now, this is super, super convenient. This basically makes it to where you don't have to go out through your world and search for something to put in the buying slot. You don't have to go into your creative menu to search for something to put in the buying slot. All you simply have to do is click the select button and choose what you want to put in the buying slot. So for example, we're going to choose string and if we click this multiple times you guys can see the amount the quantity is actually rising so let's say seven string we're going to click select and as you guys can see it is put in the buying slot next we're going to go ahead and put something in the selling slot so let's go ahead and just plop a, a block let's say just a wet sponge right here so there we go now blue Lady is selling one wet sponge for seven string so that is the advanced vending block, super convenient, super, super convenient. I really love this. This is probably one of my favorite uh, vending blocks out of all of them. Next, we have the multiple vending block. Now this one is actually going to allow you to put multiple things for sale. So as you guys can see right here, Blue Laid is selling one diamond, one emerald, one iron ingot, and one gold ingot for three obsidian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here, still the exact same way to craft it. You just have to have five glass blocks, one golden ingot, but instead of a repeater or a redstone dust this time, we're gonna be using a dispenser. As for our base blocks, we're gonna be using lapis lazuli. So let's go ahead and select lapis lazuli from right here. And we're gonna head over to our workbench. Next, just go ahead and put your blocks in like so. And boom, we have the multiple vending blocks. So if we go over here and put it on this slab, as you guys can see, we have four slots for the selling section now. So if we just go ahead and we try to find something to put in the selling section, let's say one block of diamond, we can go ahead and plop that in here. 
Let's go ahead and sell our other bending blocks as well, just because we don't need them anymore. And boom, as you guys can see, we have the four different items in the display case now. Now all we have to do is find something for the currency. We're just gonna use one stone block as the currency and boom, our bending block is complete. Blue lead is selling one block of diamond, one multiple vending block, one vending block, and one advanced vending block for one stone. That's a pretty good deal. That is a pretty good deal, actually. Now, something I forgot to mention as well, if you right-click on the vending block, as you guys can see, you might have noticed this, like, little lock icon right here. If you click this lock icon, you will see that the shop is closed. Now, this basically makes it to where no one can buy or enter your shop. You can't look into the display case. You can't buy anything from the display case. So, that is pretty convenient if you want to just shut your shop down just for the night if, you know, nighttime's coming or whatever. If you just want to close up your shop, you can actually just lock your shop and no one can buy anything from it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you guys are interested in downloading this mod for yourselves, the download link will be in the description down below. Also, be sure to slap that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you're new, consider subscribing, why not? I upload daily content every single day on this channel, it's amazing! With all that being said, guys, my name is Blue, and I'll see you all in the next one.